Um, yeah, that was that. And then I have some other thing HRV related, which is not a content type, but is a plugin. And um, uh, that's I have created it for kind of a startup that doesn't exist anymore. So um, now it's kind of mine again, back in my hands. And uh, because I created it for someone else, I didn't put it onto the uh, WordPress plugin repository because I don't have time to maintain all the stuff that I create for others. So um, because um, people would ask, okay, can you add that feature? And of course, I would like to answer that question on the support form of um, of WordPress, of the WordPress plugin repository, but I don't have the time to do that for free if I created something for somebody else. Um, yeah, nevertheless, I want to show to you if you want to use it. You can do so, and we'll, we'll just install it here and see what it does. So if we have a look at the plugins, you'll see nothing but uh, H5P and the classic editor because I guess I told, that we told you that before. I'm old and I like to use that one. Um, so if we wanted to install that plugin, that uh, it's called H5P Sharing, by the way. So let, let's see how it's installed first before we see what it does. So that's kind of strange, but uh, let's do it that way. So uh, here is the link to the uh, GitHub repository, just in case you want to check later on. And um, yeah, it's called uh, H5P Sharing because it makes sharing a little easier. So I was inspired by a platform which is called, oh, what's it called? Uh, learningapps.org, I guess which is from Switzerland, where you have a nice feature that I wanted to have for people who use H5P2. So uh, let's install that plugin. So what we need is, um, well, the plugin itself, first of all. So we can click on code and download zip, zip, or some other stuff here. Um, let's put it on the desktop. Oh, I already have it on the desktop. So let's override that. So you see, this is saved. So I now have that on my desktop. And if I go to the WordPress plugins page, then I can click uh, onto add new, and that is this uh, WordPress repository that I was talking about, and it's not there, but if you click on upload plugin, you can choose the file that we just downloaded, and you can install it. And uh, you'll see, okay, it was installed, and I can activate it, and not much will happen until now, so you see, it's activated, this is great. And if we now have a look at H5P content, we'll have a look at those two in just a second. Uh, let's go to board game and you'll now see, okay, down below, um, underneath the content, we have some something extra, which is, first of all, it's kind of a convenience feature. So when you, when you want to embed H5P somewhere else, you would have to open the content and click on embed and then click here and copy that and couple of steps. So you have that, that that down here now. So if you need the embed code, you can just click on copy and you have the, um, the embed code in your uh, clipboard. And the other use case is maybe you're a teacher and um, I know it, the use case is a little weird, but bear in mind that Germany is a strange place where you don't always have good internet stuff. Let's not talk about that. There are use cases where you want to demonstrate H5P things in class or in, in a live setting. So uh, maybe you don't want to go to WordPress and don't want to have all the extra stuff around it. So you, you know, then the trick is, of course, if you run on WordPress, you could just take this piece here out of the embed code, which again is a little, it, it works, but you have to mark, highlight it, copy it, and there it goes. So another convenience feature, you can um, uh, have that here and you can, can copy that and now you have it um, where you want to put it, maybe on a different website. I know people put that on iSurf, for example, to put uh, to link to H5P pages. And of course, we can have a look at that as well. So if you open that in a new uh, tab, then we'll see, okay, this is a board game. It just uses uh, the full page. So again, because that doesn't scale, it looks extra weird, but... It's just the H5P content without anything else around it. So that is often what teachers uh, want. And uh, then there is, that is basically not what <laughs> the, the main feature, but the main feature is this QR code, which exactly only links to this um, direct link uh, to the content. So you can click on that. And now let's say you're in class and now uh, your students could take their smartphones or tablets or your are so-called tablet classes in Germany quite often. So they could just take a, um, a picture and um, they would get to that content directly and could work on it. And it's kind of like a way of sharing your worksheets uh, in class. So 
you didn't well when I, i'm pretty old so uh, we got paper handouts and then we would do stuff and well you can do that digitally as well and um yeah that is what uh, h5e sh sharing is about so if you need that you just install the plugin and then below the content you have that and uh yeah it's a little easier to get to the the embed code or a little more convenient it's not really easier but more convenient you get the direct link and um you get the qr code and i maybe i'll uh, work on that a little to um, where you can use the WordPress templates at least. So if you want to have a little stuff around it, like your branding or uh, some extra links, you can um, define that in a WordPress template and then put the HFP content in there and you would get an extra link, which would not be the regular embed link, but um, using some, some some other endpoint. Yeah, but that is future talk. And um, yeah, maybe you can use that already. That's called HFP sharing. I know... Uh, like a couple of people like and use it, so maybe you do too. And now back on the chat. Any questions about HFE sharing? It's really not not a huge plugin, it's just something I wanted to share. So <laughs> because it is there and some people like it, so why not? 